Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can separate uh, checkbox questions like this uh, that you have on your Google Forms and on Excel spreadsheet. So imagine that we have uh, such items that uh, the respondents have to tick and they may tick more than one item. So we will have some problems with analyzing this data because we need to separate these items separately or these choices so that they will be marked as either chosen, not chosen, like for what do you use your mobile phone or laptop the most. So when we go to responses and Excel, so we will get this uh, spreadsheet and then you have for what reason uh, or for what uh, do you use your mobile phone or laptop the most. So the respondents give multiple uh, choices. So what we need to do is that we can just take this uh, data set and we can transfer transfer it into separate, let's say, uh, choices. So we can just copy, go to Excel, and then I can paste it. But before this, I need to, to do what? I need to uh, have these choices together or separately so I can just take them from the questionnaire or from the the questions here so I just can go to the questions and then I can select them or I can just choose them from here so we have social media video games e-commerce etc then we can have social media and then I need to move it here then uh, e-commerce, video games, so we have video games, all right. If they are in the questionnaire, I can just copy and paste them quickly, but now on the Google form, this will take some uh, time. And then, as you can see, I can just copy and paste from the spreadsheet directly to the Excel, this feature was not available previously. And then once I'm done, uh, what I need to do is the following. So once I'm done, what I need to do is take an equation that I'm going to share with you, this one, and paste it. So copy and paste it here. But I need to change uh some things so that i can make it compatible change the g here so here we have You see, so I just changed it so that I have these uh, dimensions of the G and H columns here. So once it's changed like this, I can go like this and spread it. So as you can see, social media and studies, so the ones that were not chosen were the video games, e-commerce and trading. They were coded as zero and the one that was chosen was social media and uh, studies. So what I need now to do is that I'm just, I can just drag and drop it or select everything till the end. So as you can see, all those items have been moved, uh, but some, uh, some of the respondents choose other options. This is another way to analyze uh, them. We can just uh, report them qualitatively but this one uh, quantifies the the options that we have given them all right so this is like a way to to quantify multiple choice or checkbox questions using excel and uh, taking it to take the data from the google forms paste it to excel or just download it directly and then run the equation or the function so that it will separate these items separately as coded uh, zero not chosen and one as chosen. You can even remove the zero here and 
leave a space so so that it can be considered as such so instead of the zero there will be space so either way you have the choice to keep playing with the codes you can even code you have different codes as one or two so you can just change them from here you can edit it the way you like so studies have been as you said uh, as you can see chosen the most followed by social media like most respondents use studies and social media the most from other cases so this is in brief how we can analyze or uh, deal with the problem of multiple choice items see you in another tutorial if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media bye for now